Jeremy, what's up, buddy? Hey, I just wanted to, um, first of all, apologize. I realized I didn't follow up with the Google form um, as far as your timesheet stuff. So I just wanted to make a quick video on, uh, yeah, just what I think would be helpful for you. So I'm going to be over here, and I'm just going to walk through some of the form stuff. So up on the top right here, uh, you'll have to check out Drive yourself and kind of create a Gmail account, I'm sure. But um, I use Google Drive a lot. Um, and have played around with some of the other aspects. So you're gonna come here, uh, you're gonna to go to your driving, you're gonna to go to top left and you're gonna click new. And then you're gonna slide down. You might have to download an extension for this, but you're gonna go down to more and then over here it's Google Forms. It's pretty straightforward. You can play around with it a little bit. Uh, and this is where you can kind of start editing a form. So um, you can call it whatever you want really, uh, time card and then you can kind of just play around with different questions so you can do um, oh I'm trying to think of what you could do here we'll do a bunch of options over here let's just do short answer um, and then for here you're just gonna say what the job was and then when it comes up on here you you can uh, type it in with the form uh, another question would be, let's see what other, I'm thinking almost like a time would be a good thing. Uh, it does time stamp it when you do it, but um, maybe like an end time or something like that would be helpful. Um, or what if we did this, let's do this. Let's do multiple choice, start or end. I'm just making this up as I go, but you can play around with it a little bit start and then to add an option just do end so thinking hey I'm going to start a job and a job and yeah and you could change this to whatever you can even do like multiple like if you have um, uh, I wish I knew more about what you did, but we'll just we'll just stick it uh, stick there for now. So, um, and then you could just do you can even put like a time thing on here if you really wanted to. So we'll just do time. Um, I'll just call it time. Why not? So all right. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, so what I would suggest is that you go and. First we'll title it, there we go. Usually auto populates. And then I think it's up here. Where is it? Where we can, you can, yeah, if you wanted to do this for multiple people, you can do email addresses and different things like this, but there's an option I'm looking for that. Do, 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 do. Where did that go? I thought it might have been. Oh, maybe it's in responses. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, so you have your questions here. And then as you're tracking things, it'll, um, like, I'll just play around. Well, first of all, I'd come to responses. And then it, within Google, like a Google form, there's also like a Google spreadsheet app. So with that, you can also. Um, link it to a, um, a spreadsheet. So I think this is where it could be uh, helpful for you. So if you just do create a new spreadsheet, it'll title it for you and it'll create it in that space and then populate it here. So this is kind of what it'll populate into. And then as we go, so let's pretend that we want to fill some things out. We're going to preview and we're just going to say, um, I don't know, you can even do job numbers if you want to, one, two, three. Uh, we're gonna do a start time and it is whatever time it is. How does this work? AM, sorry, I haven't really messed around with time. Let's say 7 AM. This one was timestamp, so you'll have to edit this a little bit to your liking, but if I do submit, uh, it'll process that and you kind of, as you do it, you can just do it again and again and again. Um, so we're going to say now it's project 
fix the roof. I don't know wh what you call it. Um, actually, let's do this just so you can timestamp it. Let's do one, two, three. It's the end time, and now we're saying it's, I don't know, eight o'clock. So you did that for an hour. Now you're moving on to something else. Submit. You can submit another response real quick, and then we'll do fix roof. Start. And so, submit that. So we have three, oops. We'll just do 805, just so it's a little different. Um, so we have three time submissions here. So if we go over, it'll actually, uh, so in your Excel um, Google Sheets form, it'll timestamp each thing. Um, obviously, you might not need the um, you might just be able to do instead of doing the time part here because it timestamps for you you could probably just compare the two as far as what job you're doing and designating if you're starting or stopping it and then just comparing the two times here that's kind of up to you uh, but as you can see it'll continue to um, filter through and just it'll keep adding them as you go uh, but anyway I encourage you to check it out um, something else that I like to do especially for my phone if I wanted to use it so um, kind of like you would a computer you can create shortcuts on your phone so um, this will look a little different depending on what if you have Android or Apple but um, just like you would on a computer you can uh, copy the um, actually what you do hold on you actually go to um, let's see where is this boop, 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 boom let's click send so it's pretending like you want to send it usually it's like a survey form um, but you can also send what they call a link so it's like sending someone the URL or the address for it I usually just shorten it just because it makes it nicer to copy and it's not as daunting. But all that to say, I just copy. Uh, so you can control C is copy shortcut. And then um, if you were doing it on a desktop, you can go new. Um, let's do, where is this shortcut? So right here, just like you would. And then right, it's gonna pop up like this and you can just control V. So paste that in there and then uh, it says click next to continue so you just continue you can call it time card I don't know how you want to do it uh, and click finish and it'll kind of look like this I don't know if you can see this moving around here how this is going to show up on the video to the right but um, so now you just created basically a shortcut double click that'll lead you right to your um, yeah to your form and then that'll no matter where this link is it'll update to your sheets and if you wanted to find that in your drive so if we close this out you'll go to your drive and you can just click on that and let's see it should be populated in here sorry obviously I use this a lot let's go ahead and refresh this should populate to one of the most recent or we can just search for it, but there it is right there. So you can just click on it. Boom, there you go. So anyway, just a tip. Uh, yeah, I encourage you to play around with it. Um, the only difference is if you want to put it on your phone, uh, I, I might be able to show you a quick tutorial on there, but if I use Google Chrome on my phone. So basically what you would do is you would pull up um, just like you would the form on Google Chrome and on the top right there's the three like dots in a vertical line you click on that and then on there it's going to say add to home screen as one of your options if you do that that's going to kind of go through the same thing as you were to create a shortcut so you could do your form directly to um, create a shortcut on your phone that way so Anyway, um, we'll see how long this video is, um, but hopefully that's helpful. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I was following up with you on it. So let me know if you have any questions.